in the Middle East in uh, 1941 at the pyramids I noticed a bit of graffiti uh, scratched in with a spur or a nail or end of a bayonet and uh, about the sexual desire of the camel and this bit of graffiti went like this the sexual desire of the camel is better than anyone thinks at moments of sexual desire he's been known to tackle the sphinx the history of the camel is buried afar and away down the nile hence the hump on the camel and the sphinx is incredible smile Back in Mungandai, when I was a small boy, there was a bloke there, a carrier with a horse team, Albert Morris. And he had a breed of piebald draft horses, they were fairly uncommon. And uh, later on, when the wool carrying was all over, uh, he used the same breed of these horses uh, as a drover. A very cruel man, and hard, tough, tough on his wife and kids and tough on himself and tough on his horses. And uh, one trip he made from Mungandai out to, near Bolland to bring in a mob of cattle. I was a drover myself at those days, in those days, and Albert, I went flying past with the wagonette and he killed one of his horses uh, in a hurry to get to the job. So I thought I'd make up a bit of poetry about it. It's not too good, but anyway, here it is. I was a piebald colt, born on the Barwon River, and used to buck and bolt. Old Albert drove me in the wagon. He drove me in the dray. He drove me in the wagonette, yes, every bloody day. So we started out from Mungandai, and during Bandy we did pass. We came to Whipple's Lane and the fat run out me bloody ass. He jerked the winkers from me head and set me frame alight and then he yoked the bally mare up just to keep the chains tight. For they trotted and they wobbled and old Albert chuckled with delight. One would think that they were hobbled in their bloody plight. For he had to be at Murundura at the breaking of the dawn where the bally cows were waiting in the stockyard early morn. Old Albert cracked his whip and slowly give a grin and saying to the manager, I'll take these bally bitches in. But alas, he didn't know the route he had to take. It was there he met the bushman, Jack Oath, at the Bolland Common Gate. He said, you can take them through Bullingy and through Board Range you will pass. Now that doesn't suit you, you Albert. You can jam them up your bloody ass. Old Gallop and Don was on the ballon and sitting rather pretty. And when Albert fetched the mob along, was feeling rather ditty. But he had a cow with big down horns, her udders welled and tight. So when Johnson came along, he had that cow to right, for he pointed out on open route, and he swore to do or die. Albert said, I'll have that cow when I get to Mungandai. Old Gallop and Don spoke up and said, You'll have her, I'll see to that. And if, it my, if you have it, my colonial boy, I'll have you on the mat. At Mungandai, when Albert reached Mungandai, and he tried to truck the cow, but Do Gallop and Johnson come along and showed the blighter how. For she never ever went up to shoot. No battery hit her side. Old Albert said he owned the cow, but Johnson said he lied. That's not yeah, when I've done that bit of poetry, I uh, picked up a mob of stud cows, big short on cows, out near Bolland. And uh, they were very big cows and they were carving. And uh, I lost one cow and uh, I was looking for her. Couldn't make out where she'd got to and that was pretty unusual for me. And uh, Never did I think for a minute that uh, Albert Morris would have my cow, the short horn cow, in amongst the boys. So uh, I got to Durham Bandy first, and then uh, and just out of curiosity, knowing that Morris was a thief, 
I thought I'd better have a look in his mob and I might find the cow that I'd uh, lost earlier. And I think the only reason that I couldn't find her was there she was in Albert Morris's mob, uh, quite out of her element and stood out like a... Uh, like your thumb in a in your eye, so to say, so to speak, and uh, and Morris had the cow all right, and uh, he swore she was one of his. But how the hell could a short on cow? Uh, I don't know what he done with the calf. He must have knocked it on the head. His cows were dry, and mine were calving, as I said earlier. But there she was, and sure, and sure enough. When we got to Mungandai, I took her off him, and the story didn't end quite there. Uh, although I put a claim in on the cow, and I pointed the cow out to the owner, that it was his cow, and uh, he took no action. And uh, remarkably enough, uh, that cow was lodged in the pound and then sold through the pound, so... Uh, I just hope or think that uh, I wasn't there when the cow was sold. Perhaps old Morris ended up with her in the finish. So.